that A is a pivot point and it cannot move, it's stationary. B, because B is fixed to A, effectively what that will mean is that B will effectively oscillate around point A. B to D and D to C, the distance from there cannot change and C will be free to move. So D is in fact linked on this imaginary wheel and then OD is the crank that will turn D around the circle. Enter. So to start, whenever you see a circle, you immediately want to go and divide it into 12 sectors. Right, once you have done that, so we can technically label this one D1. So this point, as they would go clockwise round, this would be D2, D3, D4, and so on. Okay, so the key to this entire drawing is point B. Because B is the link between A, B and C, B. So point B is the link between these two lines, but specifically more, the link between D, B and A, B. Therefore, what you're going to do is you're going to set your compass to the distance of D2, And then you're going to place it on D2 and you're going to draw a construction. What you do then is you set your compass also on AB and mark down the new location for B2. Alright, so since A cannot move, we can simply put our compass down and we can mark down the next point. So this point effectively will become B2. So there you can see it. So B2 has to be linked with D2. So if we take our ruler, and we link D2 to B2, that should give us the new link BC. So you draw the line, for now just the construction, as you can see that it goes from there to there. So you can see the construction line running through D2 all the way to B2 and going through. So to mark down your new arms, all you have to do is you take the ruler and you can connect new link AB. So this is where the new arm would have been. Then what you do is you connect B2 and you take the distance from C to D which you can take from there and you can simply go and mark it down from D2. So here you can see, here you can see we have in effect the point C2. So B2 go to D2 goes to C2 and there we have our new loci point. Now you basically have to rinse and repeat, so we go one and find, we have D3 here on the wheel, you want to find B3 there, 
connect the construction line and find C3. So here we have this point is B3. So all we have to do now is connect B3 through to D3. And that's where the link would have been. So what we do now, we again take the distance from C to D, which is the same the distance from C2 to D2, and we also place it on D3, and we mark it down on the new construction line, and now we can mark it, and this of course would be C3. So there's B3, C3, and we have our new locus point. Now all you have to do is you keep print and repeat until you go all the way around with all the points. Use the same method again and again until you have all the loci points both for B and for C. As you can see now, we have just found all the points from C1 to C12 for locus C. And then same time, because we used AB as an oscillating link, there's the curve with all the points plotted on it. So effectively, that is just going to be drawn solid with a compass. So just for the locus B, you're just going to put your compass down. And you're going to draw that locus nice and solid. And there you can see the first locus starting there. And then it oscillates back and forth on the curve around point A. Now for this one. Obviously you want to plot the points, many students prefer, prefer a flexi curve, other students use a French curve, the method really doesn't matter as long as you get a nice and neat curve around the points 